Hello guys, welcome to Online Review Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coding at for tutorials. This is our part number 7. Inside this video, we will discuss remap method of coding writer. So to understand all the things about remap method, first we need to consider a normal URL. So here we have the normal URL as URL1. Inside this URL, we have some localhost, port number. Next, we have project name, index.php into URL, controller name, and method name. Right now, I, have, I haven't considered any parameters into URL. This is all about a basic URI string. When we hit this URL into browser, this method will be called from this controller. So here we have some syntax, like if we hit this URL, this method right here will be called from this controller class. So is there any way, suppose if we are hitting this URL, is there any way to call another method instead of this method name? So yes, we have. By the help of remap method, we can actually remap dynamically the method with some another method. By the help of remap method, if we hit this URL, so instead of calling this method from this controller, we can remap some another method. We will see inside this video. So remap method is not a latest feature inside Codeigniter 4. This is already available inside previous versions as well. So inside this video, we will see the concept of remap method inside Codeigniter 4. So if I back to browser, Already we have an article inside this blogging website about the same topic. Click on Articles, Codeigniter 4. Click here on the search icon and search for Remap. Pressing Enter. So if I scroll down, here as we can see that Remap function in Codeigniter 4. So if I click on this article, this article is totally from scratch all about from Codeigniter 4 startup installation, all about all the needed details about remap method. So we are not going to install any Codeigniter 4 startup. Already we have installed and this is the project called code-app-remap. Inside this startup, this is totally blank startup. If we open this .env file, only we have changed this production to development. If we go here, Scroll down, this is what we you have to do called like download and install. Next, you need to set environment variables and then you can use remap method. So to use remap method inside this setup, we want a controller because inside this URL, as we can see, we have a controller. So we need to create that or we can use the default controller, what actually we got after installation. So go inside app controllers and here we have home.php. This is the by default controller you will get after installation. So let's create few methods. So public function, let's say method 2. If I write a static message inside that, so echo within h1 tag, let's say this is sample message. Now if I copy this method, go here, let's say method 3, this is sample message 3. Now if we want to hit this method 2 by the help of this normal URL convention, how can we do? So first of all, we need to start development server. So php spark serve pressing enter. Application development server has been started at this URL. So open into browser. This is our landing page. So if we want to call this method 2 from this home controller, so inside this syntax, the controller name is home and the method name is method 2. So go here. If we type index.php into URL, next we need to type the controller name called home and then type method 2. So if we press enter, as we can see that successfully now we are hitting method 2. Now if we change to method 3, and this time we are hitting all about method 3 from home controller. So is there any way that when we open this method 2, dynamically we will hit the method 3 method? So yes, 
by the help of remap method, dynamically we can change the method name. So if I scroll down, here we have the syntax called public function double underscore remap. It's a method and inside this code block, we can write the code here. So simply, here is the syntax. I will copy the complete code, go inside this controller. Let's put all about the first method inside this controller. So here we, we have called remap method. Inside this, we are passing our method name. Here we are getting the method name and checking with the method. So this time, what we want, we want that when we type method2, dynamically it will call the method3 method. So if I copy the method name, go here, pasting it here. So when we will get method2 into URL, dynamically we want to hit method3. So if I copy this method name, go inside this if block. So if route inside our URL, if we have method2, inside that condition, we want to hit this method3 method. So if we save this change, go and reload this page. And as we can see that while calling this method2, we are hitting this method3 method. But in case, if we have not any type of remap method, go and hit this URL. And as we can see that we are getting our method2 method. So this is all about remap method which is used to dynamically remap methods inside our method calling. If we want to pass some parameters, let's say, here we have parameters like param1, param2. So how can we access these parameters as well? So first of all, go here. This is all about while calling this method2, here we are calling this third method and inside this we want to pass parameters. So simply if we go here inside this documentation, if we want to pass our passing parameters like inside our remap method, so simply we need to add these parameters inside remap syntax because this time instead of this method, also we have two additional parameters so that's why we need to define these two parameters like here inside this remap method and after getting these parameters actually after getting these two values we want to pass inside this third method so simply i will pass these parameters after getting from url to this method get go and put here inside this method as well now we can access these values so let's type here call echo something param1 and if I type let's say param2 so if we save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that this is our first value and second value so instead of param1 param2 if we pass some another value as we can see that we can access those values as well so this is all about guys remap method in Coding Nighter. By the help of remap method, you can easily remap dynamically methods while our URL binding. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.